Welcome back to Valley News Live at noon. In today's Healthier Me, how long should parents and babies sleep in the same room? Well, we first told you last week about the new guidelines from the American Academy of Pediatrics. They recommend bedroom sharing for at least six months and ideally for the first year. Well, to talk more about this, today we are joined by Sanford Children's pediatrician, Dr. Aaron Jost, who also happens to be the pediatrician for Claire Bosch. And ironically enough, we were talking about this last Friday at her four-month appointment. Dr. Jost, uh, what are the benefits of these new guidelines? The guidelines are really built on sudden infant death syndrome uh, and its prevention. Like you already said, uh, the new guidelines are saying up to a year to see in your parents' room, but especially the six months of life provide benefit. Uh, and it, it really isn't a new uh, guideline, but it is just uh, an exact time of when it's recommended. And we talked before about probably six months was, but this is actually formally written down now. So Now, besides uh, the guidelines for having parents and babies be in the same room, uh, what else can parents and caregivers do to keep babies safe while they're sleeping? So we always try to use tricks to help people remember things. And uh, something that we found was an acronym A, B, and C. Uh, so the A stands for uh, always be alone uh, on a firm surface. Uh, so don't share a bed with your parent or with your caregiver. Uh, number B is always sleep, or letter B, always sleep on your back and not your stomach or your side, because those do increase the risk of sudden infant death syndrome being on your stomach or your side. And then the last one is sleeping in a crib or a bassinet. And you should sleep in a surface that's hard, firm mattress with a tight fitting sheet and have no soft bedding included in your crib or bassinet. And that also kind of includes when we were talking to um, making sure that it's just the infant in the crib as well. They don't necessarily need a bunch of other stuff in there with them. Right, so it's, there's two parts of that probably. Don't share a bed with somebody, but the biggest risk for sharing with somebody is uh, sharing sleeping on a sofa or a chair, but then also not having anything in the crib or bassinet where they sleep. That would be uh, bedding, a stuffed animal, uh, even bumpers in cribs are not recommended. All right, Dr. Aaron Jost with Sanford Health. Thanks again for joining us today. Thank you.